hello friends welcome to the channel so today we will see how we can load the application properties fields to our java classes that means how we can read basically the application properties fields to the java classes so let's start so let's say we have uh, for example let's say server dot username equal to let's say username we will say or my name okay so like that let's say username password let's say we have my password okay so let's try with this two fields okay so we have to read these fields to our java classes so let's say uh, let's make one more class new class properties let's take it as a properties reader okay so let's make it a interface okay so it is there so what we have to do is to read the properties first of all the class should be marked as at the rate config mapping okay and in the config mapping there is a property called prefix and the prefix we will give server so this server is whatever prefix we are giving so whatever would be there it will read and username and password so basically you can give username also like this okay and let's go here and what we can do is uh, password only username password So basically this is what basically public we want to keep or we don't want to keep okay so username and password uh, you will see basically it is here username either you can write or this way also you can write server dot username user 
let's see what will happen okay so this is what we get now let's say we want to refer here so what we will do is at the rate so properties properties reader what are they? where is the class it become Okay, so it is there. Some folder. So properties reader. So what we will do is at the rate inject. So it will basically automatically read and initialize. So let's see. Control C, and what we can write is. return let's say control v dot password plus let's say zero dot password yeah let's say username so let's try if it is giving so here only we can run this guy Our application is still running. It's fine. Okay. What is the error it is saying here? A oh, username. It is expecting. Okay. Okay. So the correct is this should be like this. Okay. Yeah. Now it is. So. Anyhow it will. Read all. Reload automatically. So you can check that one also reloading functionality. Now we can just. My name my password. So this is there. So you can see my name is Quarkus. My password is Quarkus. So let's say if it is running, it is any running in dev mode, it should get a reload when we send the request. So it will basically load both properties file and the Java class also. So let's see. Yes, my name is Quarkus. My, my password is Quarkus. Okay, so tested both reload and this one. One more way we can see we have different different uh, properties name. So let's see. Uh, let's say some file dot location equal to let's say some drive 
t slash abc folder or we can say abc folder slash dr okay so we want to read this basically uh, from the properties file so what we will do so here we can directly we can directly actually read basically. so let's say string location equal to not equal to semicolon and here what we do is at the rate config properties okay here there is config properties is there only right let's say what config config mapping config config property Not properties so here name equal to control v this is the location so we want location control c so let's take out this guy and control v location so let's say location equal to location so hopefully it will reload and uh, so any location name abcd here so it should come so let's try uh, we are just giving the same url see location equal to it is giving the whole oh okay yes correct it is giving, right so we have given this location that's why location equal to giving so this is the correct result location equal to give okay so this is the two way you can load the properties Lo load the basically fields in the properties file to our java classes this is very important actually so this is the way this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching please subscribe my channel friends